today I want to show you how you can create a love moment slideshow with a beautiful loop effect. It's an endless preview, my dear friends. So, without wasting much of your time, let's get started. All right, my dear friends. So, the very first thing that you're going to do right here, go straight to your media bin and drag down the images that you're going to use for this slideshow. So, for this example, for the sake of this very tutorial, I'm going to drag down four images which I've downloaded from Pixels for free. And the next thing after that, I also have to drag down a simple color for my background. And when it comes to those animating particles, we are going to deal with that later. Now that we have done dragging down your images that you are going to use in this video, my dear friend, the next thing is to reposition them. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this first clip right here and move it this side. And I'm going to fast forward this moment and you can still follow along. Alright, so this is a repositioning format that I'm going to take for this example. The main thing that I want you to get right here is the format of doing this. And once you get the format, you can do it in different ways. Alright my dear friend, now the very next step right here is very simple as well. Here I have to add a mask on this image. Double select the image and right here you go to mask. And for this example, I'll choose the rectangle and then from the preview window, I customize it in this way. And I'm going to repeat the same process on all the remaining images. Alright my dear friend, you are almost there. Only a few simple steps before we finish. So right now you have to select all the images in the timeline and the next thing is to right select and you see this option right here which is the compound clip and right here I can name it slideshow. Alright so right now you have to double select this compound clip right here to open another timeline. Okay so right here only these images are going to show up on the preview window. Alright so right now you have to go straight to the stickers and search for the colorful love element so you have to drag this one below all the clips all right so you drag it down but you have to make sure that you lock other tricks above so that you don't disturb them when you are customizing this element okay all right so again move it around put it somewhere here reduce the size and the opacity and then after that i can duplicate this onto the track below and then i move this other one to a different position all right so now you extend them to fit the duration of the images click home to go to the main timeline and as you can see the elements are actually showing up all right so now the very most important step let's go for it first add a keyframe on this common clip here and then almost the last frame change the position so that all the images are actually out of the frame all right by the way take note that you don't have to ease in or ease out these keyframes at this moment Alright, so the next thing is to duplicate this same common clip onto the trick above. So on this second common clip right here, the very first frame must be slightly out of the frame on the right side. Alright, so when you try to check out the preview right here, you find out that the second common clip is moving faster than the first one, which is very simple. You just have to extend the common clip and then extend the second keyframe to match the animation speed of the two. Alright, alright, so by the way, I just have to go back to the common clip and then extend the duration of the images. Alright, so right now, instead of duplicating this same common clip right here like I am doing right now, you can create another common clip with other images. It's only that I don't have more images to use. Alright, so right now, I keep copying and pasting this same common clip right here. Which as I have said, you could make other common clips with different images and that is if you have more. Alright my dear friend, now that we are done the loop effect, let us add some elements to make the whole video even beautiful. So right now you go ahead to the effects tab and search for the romantic particle element right here. And by the way, these effects right here can be used for free on this Valentine period. Right now if you more have got a timed promotional event which is influenced by the Valentine season. So if you would like to create any Valentine influence video, you got an access right now to use all the paid effects for free. If you would purchase one of these, you will get one for free and that is called two for one deal. Alright, so I double select this particle and right now I'm going to reduce the particle opacity to something like 35. Alright, so right now I extend it. 
And just after we have done that, my dear friend, we have one more important thing. And that is to show you how you can translate your love, translate your vows into different languages of your choice. Well, my dear friends, I want to take this good opportunity right here so that we can try and taste this newest feature of Wondershare Fumora, which is excellent. And that is called AI Translation. Again, without wasting much of your time, I have this symbol of a vow right here with me. With my whole heart, I promise to remain devoted to you to continue to grow with you in mind and spirit and to practice patience, kindness, and understanding. Once more, I vow to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Well, let's see how we can put that into a different language, both words and audio. All right, my dear friend, this is going to be a real test to see actually whether this feature works or it doesn't work. Select your title in the timeline and you see this option right here or else you can right select and you see again here the AI translation. All right, so this time around, we're still translating only the titles. We are going to translate the voice next. Well, but we have a little problem right here. And that is which language am I going to choose? I like Spanish and I like French. All right, here we go with Spanish. Well, since I have opted for the Spanish, let's check it out. Here we go, and this is our translation. Guess what? I'm going to check it out with Google Translate. Well, now I see this thing really work. But one more step. Let's try out the audio. With my whole heart, I promised. Alright, so I select this audio right here and again do the same option. Alright, here is the translated audio. Let us listen. Prometo amarte de todo corazón, continuar creciendo contigo mental y mentalmente, y practicar la paciencia, la bondad y la comprensión. Y una vez más, juro que mientras estemos vivos, te atesoraré. I have no reason to doubt this anymore. Now you got it. Go and translate your love. And here is the final preview. That's it, my dear friend. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, like, and share the content to your friend.